The conference that's just started today is of extreme importance to the three most affected countries by Ebola in West Africa, Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. It's basically an opportunity for these countries to raise resources to build back better for their uh, economies and for their societies that have been severely impacted by the Ebola virus. Um, it's hard to underestimate just how devastating the impact has been. And in a way, what they're presenting here is a two-year strategy for recovery for their countries. And it's very, very important that the international community support that recovery process. We're not there yet. As uh, WHO has said, it's a long and bumpy road to getting to zero on Ebola. We can beat it, but it requires community mobilization at the grassroots level, and the United Nations agencies need to support that process by helping the countries really uh, fight the Ebola disease at the village level uh, so that these countries can actually get, get it behind them and get back on the path to recovery. What needs to be done is to basically have a very targeted program where each single case of Ebola that's discovered in the country is aggressively uh, contained through quarantine, through um, basically enhancing community resilience and making sure that people know how to protect themselves and their families from the disease. Uh, it's a tall order because we're still seeing one year and two months into Ebola cases appearing in all three of the countries. Uh, so therefore, a sustained uh, support from the international community, the UN agencies is required, but also the, we need to get over the complacency and fatigue that happens after you've been facing a disease like this for one year plus. We've got to keep people mobilised, keep them engaged, and make sure that we get to zero as quickly as possible. It's been a long and bumpy road. Uh, Ebola happened three weeks after I arrived in the country. It's not exactly the program I expected, but we've been in emergency response mode now for 14 months. We'll continue to do that until we get to zero. Um, it's a challenge for the agencies. The agencies now have severely depleted their resources, particularly the frontline agencies, WHO, UNFPA, uh, UNICEF and WFP. We need to, in a way, make sure that we can continue to mobilise the resources to sustain the operations that we have in the field. And that also means to continue to attract good staff to come and work with us uh, in, in the countries to make sure that we can actually get to zero. It's, it's, a, it's a challenge because with a, an emergency that lasts as long as this, there is fatigue. There's donor fatigue, but there's also fatigue from the health workers themselves. And we need to fight that if we're going to get to zero.